This is Akashwani. The news read by Anuja Kumar. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that the opposition party's alliance aim is to throw out his government while BJP's aim is to create a bright future for the country. Mr Modi stated this while addressing the BJP parliamentary party meeting in New Delhi today. Talking to the media after the meeting, Parliamentary Affairs Minister Prahlad Joshi quoted Mr Modi as saying that BJP will work for the development of the country. Talking about the Lok Sabha security breach issue, Mr Joshi informed about the Prime Minister saying that everyone believing in democracy should have condemned the security breach. The Prime Minister said some parties in a way are supporting this action which is as dangerous as the breach itself. Mr Modi also criticised the opposition for disruption in the parliament saying they are rattled by the defeat in the recent assembly polls. On the other hand, opposition parties staged a protest in the Parliament House complex over the suspension of MPs as well as the Lok Sabha security breach issue. Members from Congress, DMK, TMC, Left, RJD, JDU, Samajwadi Party, NCP, JMM and others joined the protest. Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change Bhupendra Yadav has hailed India as the voice of the Global South. Addressing a press conference in New Delhi today, he said that the recently concluded COP28 and the Delhi Declaration of G20 have further boosted India's image as a reliable model for sustainable development. He added that the Indian economy has not only recovered from the challenges of COVID-19, but is well on track to be the third largest economy in the world. The minister also credited India's growing soft power through its culture, heritage and knowledge. Youth Affairs and Sports Minister Anurag Singh Thakur has called upon the youth of the country to join the My Yuva Bharat platform to achieve the target of making India a developed nation by 2047. In a video message, Mr Thakur said that the youth of the country have an important role to play in achieving the goal. He added that on the world stage, India has made a new identity for itself by achieving historic goals in the last few years. He emphasized that public participation is important to realize the vision of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and every Indian should join it. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will interact with and address the participants of the grand finale of the Smart India Hackathon 2023 through video conferencing this evening. The grand finale of the Smart India Hackathon will be held at 48 nodal centers till the 23rd of this month. A total of 1,282 teams have been shortlisted for the grand finale to provide solutions on various themes including space technology, smart education, disaster management, robotics and drones, heritage and culture and others. President Robdi Murmu paid her tributes to the martyrs on the occasion of Goa Liberation Day today. The president said the nation pays homage to the martyrs who laid down their lives for the liberation of Goa from the colonial rule. She added that the nation salutes the freedom fighters and the armed forces for their exemplary courage and sacrifice. She wished for a bright future to the residents of Goa. Almost the entire Rajasthan is reeling under severe cold as the minimum temperature in many areas were recorded near freezing point for several consecutive days. The minimum temperature of minus 1 degree Celsius has been recorded in Mount Abu today. The mercury dropped today in Fatehpur of Sikar and reached near the freezing point. The temperature there was recorded at 0.7 degrees Celsius. The night temperature has been recorded below 10 degrees in many other districts. Traffic has been affected due to fog in the northern parts of the state. There is an effect of cold in many districts including Savai Madhupur and Bhilwara. Fog alert has been issued in Bikane due to dense fog on the India-Pakistan border adjoining the district. In China, at least 116 people were killed following an earthquake of 6.2 magnitude that hit northwest Gangshu and Qinghai provinces. And in men's cricket, India will take on host South Africa at St. George's Park in Gebekha today. The match will start at 4.30 p.m. Indian time. And that is the end of this news bulletin. 